What's up, everybody? This is Yomna Joseph, the creator of Fangs, and we're here for an inside look of episode one, 600. Um, so when we open up, we see uh, Miguel having some um, financial issues, looking at some bills. He's a bit distraught, and we do this to establish or to kind of give an explanation as to why he's going to make the decision he's going to make earlier, um, later, excuse me, which is um, to accept Snoop as a housemate. And, um, and a lot of people, I imagine watching the show, would think to themselves, I would not have let this person inside of my house. But the thing about Miguel you have to understand is that he's very, um, what my grandmother would call nice nasty. You have someone who puts on a smile and they try to be kind and nice, but it, it's all a facade, you know? Um, so he has no intentions of letting Snoop live with him. And, um, but, so that's why he, he goes through the whole motion of showing the house and everything. And this is important because when he opens the door, you see Snoop and you see the distinctive differences between the two. Snoop is just very sincere. This is what you, what you see is what you get type of individual. Whereas Miguel is, he's, he's more calculated. Not to say that Snoop isn't, but he plays the role well of being the, the nice, polite, kind person, even if he doesn't mean it. So there's that, that first distinction of the two of them. And um, so, before Snoop comes in, Miguel stops him and he tells him to put the plastic covers over your, your shoes before walking in. He takes his temperature and he writes it down. He tells him to put on the gel and then he gives him the tour and he get to the, the living room where the TV and the music and everything is and he's like, no loud music after 10. And this is important because while Snoop seems like this stereotypical bad boy african-american hood type individual um and while he may have some of that in him he's not without his his values um as you see later when um georgia miguel's girlfriend miguel come back to the house you know it sounds like it's he's about to open the door to this ridiculously wild chaotic scene and you know Snoop opens and even though what he does is absurd which is pointing the thermometer at their heads like a gun to take the temperature he's indeed in fact excuse me following Miguel's house rules he takes the temperature he writes it down he has everyone wear the shoe covers around their shoes and for some of them on top of their heads. And um, and he also made dinner, you know? And um, fast forward to the end of the episode, he says, turn the music back up, it's not 10 o'clock yet, players. Which basically means we can play loud music until, until 10 p.m., as Miguel said. So despite his, his approach and despite his... Um, his confidence he still respects people's boundaries more or less and this basically lays the foundation of what's in store for the next episodes of Fangs so I hope you enjoyed thank you hey turn the music up it ain't 10 o'clock yet Blake.